In the remainder of this year, I'll be making a few Mario physics videos due to the lack of any earlier in 2018. Starting off, we're looking at one of the most impossible items I think Mario's ever used, the propeller mushroom. And just how fast would these things need to be going to lift Mario's chubby little Italian self off the ground? That's what I aim to solve today using hardcore aerodynamical physics. Let's go. So the helmet has a propeller on top, and this acts similarly to what a helicopter may do when it takes off for flight. However, there's a difference here. Mario is not a helicopter. Or is he? No, no, he isn't. But that doesn't stop the equation for propeller lift from working. It's actually fairly easy to solve this otherwise complex problem. To find the speed the blades go at, all we need to do is find the area swept by the propellers, the density of the air around them, the special number for the lift of this kind of propeller, and the force it takes for Mario to go flying upwards. In this video, I'll be using the Mario Maker propeller suit since it's the easiest one to test and because it's one of the most recent incarnations. First up, air density is pretty easy. It's just 1.225 kilograms per cubic meter in most places. The area swept by the propeller blades is also relatively easy. It's just a big circle, so pi r squared. So I compared Mario's confirmed height of 150 centimeters to the length of the blades and got an area of 0.4417865 square meters. The lift coefficient was tricky, but NASA has some graphs relating the angle of the blades to the coefficient based off of a bunch of their testing, so I painstakingly used trigonometry to find out that the coefficient would average at about 0.25 for these specific propellers. Finally, we need to find the force it takes for Mario to zoom up at what I measure to be about 7.5 meters at most. This is when the propellers are working at maximum effort, and we can find the force by dividing the energy to get to that height by the distance it takes to start propelling. The energy of the height is quite easy, it's just known as the potential energy, and is found by multiplying gravity, which we know, by the height, which we know, by Mario's mass. Mario's weight is interesting, and as I'm literally writing this script, fellow theory channel Game Theory has made a video involving Mario's mass, which they calculated out to be approximately 90 kilograms. I agree with this, although in regards to body mass index, that would make Mario morbidly obese, which he doesn't exactly appear to be in Mario Maker. Using a more accurate BMI for Mario, this would put him at a mere 150 pounds or 67.5 kilos, which honestly looks more accurate, but technicalities will force me to average it all in the end anyways, so I'll just use both weights for now in different ways. Finally, we need the distance it takes before he reaches his propelling potential, which is also fairly easy. I just used a bunch of equations relating to time in order to calculate it. I got about 0.71 meters. Also, there are two blades instead of one, so I'll multiply it all by two, but also not multiply it by two and take another average, you know, confusing crap. So calculating this all through and solving Solving for velocity, we get 296.19 meters per second, or about 1,070 kilometers an hour, aka 660 miles an hour. That's basically very crazy, but also very accurate. If we convert that to a more rotational unit, that works out to around 125 full cycles every second. That's insanely higher than what we see it going at in Super Mario Maker or any other Mario game for that matter. How intriguing. But we can take this even further, as I always love to do that. I'm going to put this number into sheer perspective. If we use formulas to switch this into power, it works out to around 2.43 million watts. Each time you sped up simply in that single turbo boost, it would cost nearly eight and a half American cents worth of recharging it in your house tagged onto your electricity bill. So if you use it like 10 times in a level, you'd have to pay eight bucks to recharge it, and that's not including the slow descent feature of the propellers, that's only including the super turbo rise. Since Mario's ears are about a third of a meter away, assuming they weren't at all protected, each time Mario used the propellers, he'd be exposed to 180 decibels of sound loudness. That's around 3 pounds per square inch, attacking his fragile auditory drums. That's like being 15 feet away from a pound of exploding TNT. That's loud. So basically, you need to fear this thing. 
More Mario videos will probably be coming relatively soon. I'm thinking of analyzing a couple of baddies. Thanks for watching this rather short but sweet video of mine. Until next time, I'm the Theorizer!